Power Riders of the Internet, Noble Zeno here, and welcome back to another Reddit video, and today we will be looking at r slash insane people Facebook once again. Let's get started. There's a big difference between someone ending someone's life and someone having a single instance of doing it that may or may not have been wanted. While violation is horrible, yes, at the end of the day it is still just doing it. Violation doesn't end anyone's life unless they play the victim forever and let it. You know how traumatizing that can be, what the actual hell, and yes, it can be deadly, people have been killed from it before. So this motorcyclist cut me off, so I witch to another lane unbothered. He flips me off, then gets right in front of me and slams on his brakes. Satan gripped my feet and I stomped on the gas. Bet you he won't do that crap again, and he immediately hit the exit once he got control of his bike. I almost killed a man and I'm still unbothered, but I will sit in front row in church tomorrow, happy face. You almost killed a man and you're gonna end it off with a cheeky grin? Yeah, that's not gonna fly. And after doing that, going to church does not make you a good man. And it sure as hell does not excuse anything. This next one is a middle school professor who thought she was DMing Donald Trump, but in fact, she was tweeting at him for everyone to see. At real Donald Trump, Mr. President, City Independent High School District is loaded with illegal students from Mexico. High school has been taken over by them, drug dealers are on our campus, and nothing was done to them when the drug dogs found the evidence. I contacted the feds here in city a few months ago, and the person I spoke with did not want to help me or even listen to me. The campus police officer spends his time texting on his cell phone and doing the bidding of ex-Hispanic assistant, principal who protects certain students from criminal prosecution. Then there is the fraud that is being committed by X and how the special education department on our campus is being run. The district knows about the issues and turns a blind eye to it. I need protection from recrimination. Should I report it to the authorities, but I do not know where to turn? I contacted the Texas Education Agency and then my teacher organization. Texas will not protect whistleblowers. The Mexicans refuse to honor our flag. I do not know what to do. Anything you can do to remove the illegals from city would be greatly appreciated. Appreciated. My phone number is number and my cell is number. Full name is my real name, thank you. Mr. President, I asked for assistance in reporting illegal immigrants in the ISD public school system and what I received was an alarming tweet from someone identifying himself as one of your assistants followed by a second tweet from the same person. Apparently this lady even made national news because of this. And luckily the articles do say that she was fired because of this incident. Good, because the last thing we need is our children to be taught racism. So let's rewind back to the good old days before we had those 5G towers, McDonald's, prepackaged food, vehicles, etc. This was true, people didn't get sick like this that we know of. Cuts, bug bites, maybe a small cold, that was about it. When do you think they invented typhoid, tuberculosis, scarlet fever, measles, and diphtheria exactly? What about the bubonic plague, the one that killed between 75 and 200 million people? What about polio, tuberculosis, the Spanish flu, cholera, malaria, all of those? Jesus, how can you be so stupid? Jesse Kelly tweets, Why do I need an AR-15? Because someday the government may tell me I'm not allowed to put my sick son on a plane and fly him to Italy for treatment. And believe me when I tell you I will be putting him on that plane. Hashtag Alfie Evans. And Jules replies, I need an AR-15 in case I need to hijack a plane to fly my son to a country with socialized healthcare. It's currently my favorite take on gun ownership. I love that good old American logic. Shannon left this restaurant a one-star review because the food isn't very good, the delivery times are atrocious, and the owner's very unprofessional and treats employees and customers poorly. He will harass you on social media and call you names if you dare criticize the business. I bet that I'll get a reply from him on my review calling me a loser. Just wait. And because this is our slash insane people Facebook, the predictable happens. Yes, Shannon, you have and always will fall into the loser category. We just came off a record-breaking day, week, and month. Ha ha ha, thanks for the love, eat a fat dong. That is no way to treat your customers. What the actual hell? WCYB News reports a New Hampshire students will now receive free tampons and pads in school restrooms. And of course, some lunatic replies, I'm sorry, I'm just gonna go ahead and say this picture offends me. Really? Is there no decency today? Can we not as adults deal with things in a more appropriate way? And no, my head is not in the sand. I just believe some things are done in private. Jeesh, just grow up. If the picture of a tampon offends you, then I think you're the one who needs to grow up. 
Just got told that the vaccine the doctor gave my son has AIDS in it. I know better than to trust this corrupt health system. Hashtag anti-vax. What? You don't even have a child. You've been single all your life and you're like 17. What the hell? This next one's not Facebook, but it's insane as hell. Hey, is this Hannah? No, sorry. Wrong number. I was in Kent, Ohio at the Bar 157 Lounge. Are you sure this isn't Hannah? Yeah, I'm a dude and I'm pretty sure my name isn't Hannah. She gave you a fake number. Sorry. Screw you, I got to hook up with two hot sorority girls last night. They were both super hot. You were probably at home jacking off because you're a loser, haha. <laughs> you wish you were like me, don't you? I get any girl I want. They beg for me, haha, <laughs> freaking loser. Except Hannah, apparently. Oof, you just got murdered. Hashtag science. For those blokes who've been following my science journey this past week, I thought I would share with you my results. For those that I haven't here is a rundown. I decided to test the theory that sweet fruits do in fact sweeten your baby gravy. After a week of eating more than the average recommended daily fruit intake and steering clear of savory food products, I feel as though the wait had been long enough. After pleasuring myself into a shot glass, I decided to bite the bullet and go where no man has gone before for science. After tasting my not-so-sweet nectar, it is apparent that drinking your own semen will bring you to your knees, crying and questioning life itself. Not only am I ashamed of myself, I've also come to the sad realization that scientists are t sick and twisted. What the actual hell? I thought we were going to escape the neckbeards, but apparently not. I'm still traumatized from the last video, and this comes up. What? What the hell? This is science, not anti-science. Anti-science is just a slogan not to be taken seriously. It is known that the mainstream science focuses on one thing and that is the less than 0% trace gases that they say is a threat, without evidence that it is a threat. Less than 0%, wait, so we're clear, you are trying to be taken seriously, right? Like you come up with above 0%, what percent is above 0%? 0.1% is less than 0%. That is some very great research you got there. That is peak stupidity right here. This next post is from Sweet Home Alabama. My gorgeous 17 year old daughter, thick, plump, and juicy, never looked so, um, good. I gotta get her into plus size modeling. Oh, yes, she takes after her mom, I proudly have to admit. Happy face and laughing face and heart eyes. What the hell? Why are you talking about your own daughter like that? I almost forgot to tell you all. Yesterday I went to the homeopathic store with my kids to get more oils. The lady who was restocking the shelves looked at us and said, Oh my, more anti-vaxxers I see. As what I presume was some crude joke. Then Maxwell, my 11-year-old, said, Yes, we are. We are proud anti-vaxxers. And my mom does anything to keep me and my younger sister safe. What is wrong with you, woman? Then my six-year-old Sophia started laughing and said everything is wrong with her. She is killing herself like a government sheep. My kids and I started laughing in silence surrounded the room as a woman looked at us disgusted. The silence persisted until someone started to clap slowly. Then another person started clapping. Next thing we knew, the entire store was full of claps and cheers, and you were on r slash that happened and r slash insane people Facebook at once. I haven't been on Facebook in eight months and now I remember why I deactivated it in the first place. We'll be removing people like this from our country during the War of 2024 when Trump leaves office. Ten million armed Republicans will go to D.C. and kill the Democrat politicians in every state. Then he will start seizing Democratic property and deporting them backs of Dems for 2020. We will assassinate, I'm talking about corporate CEOs around the world. This is how you end this bullcrap and there's no other way that will work. Oh my god. Also, where the hell are you going to deport them? They were born in the United States. This next one is simply titled, What the Actual Hell? I have always felt that the best way to deal with a woman who gets out of line is to start hiding the car keys around the house. Her struggle to retrieve the keys clearly reflects the strange struggle that Jesus endured in his crucifixion. Although it may be physical or emotional in the moment, they eventually appreciate the overall biblical meaning of the struggle. Secondly, refusing pleasure is the worst a wife thing can do. Of course, as long as there's no medical reasoning behind it. In my opinion, there is no excuse for this, especially considering that the house is based under the classic patriarchy ruling. Have Having said that, I myself have not worked since the forklift accident, but my welfare checks, unemployment payments, and Uncle Harry's inheritance money, wife side, but I'm discussing my share, far outdo any of the scrap money she brings them from her fancy degree. Yeah, I'm sure your $12,000 a year worth of welfare checks is worth a lot more than the $60,000 a year she's bringing in from her college-educated job. This next one is titled, This is Not Your Average Stupidity. This is Advanced Stupidity. It's Galactic Federation of Light. That actually sounds kind of badass. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to keep reading. 
Vaccines and flu shots versus star children. If you have a baby, would you give him or her vaccines knowing that the baby could be one of the many star children born here with a gift to save humanity? Important, star children cannot stand vaccines and often easily become autistic or develop some kind of physical disability quickly after vaccinated. On rare cases, the star children's souls will quickly exit the body, resulting in dead Barbies just a few days or weeks after getting vaccines. Because of their much higher frequencies, star children's souls despise low frequencies stuffs like vaccines equals filled with toxins low frequency food like canned food processed food or low frequency places like slaughterhouse butchery or cemeteries vaccines are intentionally designed to slow down planetary ascension by blocking the next waves of star children from being born and growing up as they intended nevertheless the star children's souls will find other parents to incarnate because they are determined to be here to ascend mother earth dead barbies in just a few weeks weeks or days oh my goodness the horror what a shame of an awesome group name like that it just had to be taken up by the stupid people didn't it anyway i hope you enjoyed this one thank you so much for watching all right guys if you enjoyed the video don't forget to like if you have something interesting to say don't forget to comment and if you want to see more don't forget to subscribe and hit the little notification bell thank you for watching